Let's begin by exploring some of the traditional challenges with automating the Salesforce UI. Salesforce often generates dynamic IDs for its elements. This means that an ID associated with a particular element can change every time the page is loaded, making it hard to select elements consistently with legacy automation solutions. Salesforce applications can have complex page layouts with nested frames and pop-ups. Automations need to be able to switch between different frames and handle pop-ups correctly. Salesforce makes heavy use of Ajax and JavaScript to provide a dynamic user experience. This can lead to elements loading at different times, making it hard to interact with the page unless explicit hard-coded wait times are used. Salesforce's Lightning platform includes custom web components that can be more difficult to automate compared to the standard HTML elements. These components may also have hidden shadow DOM elements, so it's important automated solutions must be able to handle these as well. And lastly, if custom visual force pages are used, they might have custom elements or layouts that are not standard, making them harder to identify and interact with. UiPath's solution to all of these challenges is its multi-anchor unified targeting approach. This approach for object identification leverages four possible targeting methods. The selector, a fuzzy version of the selector, UiPath's proprietary AI computer vision model, and as a fallback mechanism, image automation. All these targeting methods are used concurrently at runtime and automatically picks the first one that successfully locates the desired element, thus not impacting performance speed. Even with multiple targeting methods, a target may still have duplicates on the screen, and in these scenarios, users are able to define up to three anchors to ensure that unique elements are still being interacted with. Furthermore, to address the dynamic nature of Salesforce elements, our developers have customized UiPath's driver technology to identify unique SFL name and SFL type properties. In addition, since 2021, UiPath has been able to support websites that use Shadow DOM for their UI elements, including Salesforce. So let's see this in action. In this automation, the robot starts by opening up a Chrome browser to Salesforce and entering a username and password. Even with dynamic page loading, we didn't have to hard code any wait times or delays. The robot navigates to the sales module within Salesforce, goes to my accounts, and starts creating a new account, entering all the necessary details. In addition to UI automation, UiPath comes out of the box with an integration service that offers a prepackaged set of activities to interact with the Salesforce publicly supported APIs. The integration service offers easy standardized authentication, allowing you to connect to a Salesforce instance and democratize the use of potentially complex API calls. An admin user needs to merely go to integration service scroll through the list of over 100 available integrations, select Salesforce, and create a connection for developers to use. Authentication will be a username and password for that admin user. Once a connection is established, a developer can now use any one of our out-of-the-box activities, interacting with Salesforce accounts, contacts, files, leads, opportunities, and if the developer is a bit more advanced, can work with any type of record supported with the Salesforce API. Let's take the same create account process we had earlier. Our UI automation took about 30 seconds to run. With integration service, we can condense those numerous activities into just one. A developer merely needs to input the necessary values, selecting from a list of available properties. Once completed, they can run the automation. The API call is completed in the background in just three seconds. In Salesforce, we can see that the account was created. And that concludes our technical deep dive on Salesforce automation with UiPath. Till next time, bye.